1942 Jefferson Nickel. Type 1 dye variety. Graded as PR68 plus by NGC. This silky smooth example shimmers with a delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. The Type 1 does not have a P-mint mark. While the Type 2 silver does have a P-mint mark. Both coins have similar mintages. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. PR68 plus specimens like this one are considered rare. It was sold for $3,600. 1926 S. Lincoln cent. Graded in mint state 64 red by PCGS and proven by CAC. The 1926 S is a challenging semi-key issue that is rarely encountered with full red color. Just one grade point finer and the 1926 S is a major rarity. At the MS64 red grade, the 1926 S is still affordable for most Lincoln cent collectors and represents the best value. This piece has lovely, even red luster that is slightly and evenly mellowed over each side. A few specs on the reverse and an abrasion on Lincoln's beard account for the MS64 grade. Sold on January 10, 2024 for $16,800. 1915 D. Lincoln Cent MS67 Red. Our final spotlight is on the 1915 Lincoln Cent. Minted in Denver, this cent, in MS67 Red, is a testament to its rarity and condition. Finding a coin from 1915 in such a high grade is like discovering a numismatic time capsule. Hold on to this piece of history. David Longy wrote in his complete guide to Lincoln Cents, as the population figures suggest, it, the 1915D, is readily available in all degrees of color, although few of the red or red-slash-brown coins are true gems. Similarly, Bowers noted in his guide book of Lincoln Cents, mint state coins are seen with frequency in the marketplace, but gems with original color, no spots, and sharply struck are rare. This MS67 red gem was sold for $43,200. 1974 S. Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR70 Deep Cameo by PCGS. According to Jamie Hernandez, the 1974S proof Lincoln Cent is easy to obtain and grades up to about PR68 Deep Cameo. Examples in PR69 Deep Cameo are more challenging to find but enough examples exist, that most collectors can buy one at a reasonable price. PR70 specimens are almost unheard of. PCGS has certified just four specimens including this gem in that top grade. It was sold for $23,062.61 with buyer's fee. Vividly Tone 1915 Lincoln Cent. Graded as PR67 Brown by PCGS. A brown example composed of various amber, gold, emerald green, and ocean blue hues, with violet and russet as well. The strike is sharp, and each side is largely pristine. The 1915 matte proof is seldom offered this fine in any color category. It was sold for $11,400. 1976 S. Silver Eisenhower Dollar. Graded in Mint State 69 by PCGS. The Silver 1976 S. Bicentennial Dollar is widely available in certified capacity, although these coins largely reside in the MS66 and MS67 grade range, with the population dropping off sharply in MS68. This is in contrast to some clad issues in the series that are readily available even in MS69. The 1976 S. Silver issue is a major rarity in MS69. PCGS and NGC each report a total of seven submissions in this grade and none finer. Pristine satin luster glistens across brilliant surfaces and sharp design elements. A few faint russet accents around the borders serve as pedigree markers. It was sold for $15,000 on January 12, 2024. 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel Moving on to the 2011 P. Jefferson Nickel in MS68 Full Steps. The high mint state grade and the presence of full steps on Monticello's reverse make this nickel a standout. Quality matters in numismatics, and a high-grade coin with full steps is a true find for any collector. This modern gem fetched a sum of $1,730.25 with buyer's fee. 1955 Lincoln sent with double die obverse. Graded as MS64 Brown by NGC. Deep walnut brown patina bathes this satiny and boldly struck key date scent. Some flickers of orange-red color remain in the most protected areas. Each side exhibits a few trivial ticks, but a generally unabraded example. FS101 shows bold dye doubling visible to the naked eye, making it one of the most sought-after issues in the series. This elusive specimen was sold for $4,320. 1926 D. Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 Red by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, Satiny, Bright copper surfaces exhibit an uncommonly bold strike in a survivor of this well-known strike rarity among 1920s Lincoln cents. 
solid gem quality throughout, and worthy of inclusion in another advanced collection of this popular and widely collected series. The 1926D scent is relatively common overall but scarce in higher mint state grades. Strike and surface quality are the two compromising factors that make this issue so conditionally rare, and less than 200 coins are thought to survive in gem condition and above from an original mintage of just over 28 million pieces. This specimen was bargained for $4,800. 1909 Proof VDB Lincoln Scent. Graded as Proof 65 Red and Brown by PCGS. The scarcest matte proof Lincoln scent is the 1909 VDB issue. Most examples of this date are in the red and brown color category but even these coins are notably scarce in gem condition and rare finer. The present example is sharply struck and displays broad, squared rims with well-preserved, finely textured surfaces. Deep amber red patina characterizes each side, leaving this coin just one shade to dark to qualify for full red classification. It was sold for $24,000. And this is 1909 VDB Lincoln scent with enchanting toning. Graded in mint state 68 plus red and brown by PCGS and later approved by CAC. Other than iridescent hues around the borders it displays outstanding preservation level and mark-free surfaces. The original design feature are the designer's initials VDB at the bottom of the reverse which was later removed from next issues due to public outcry. This superb gem fetched a sum of $29,250 with buyer's fee on January 14, 2024. 1983 sent double die obverse. The doubling on the date and lettering is a distinctive feature of this coin. Coupled with a grade of MS67 red, it becomes a rare and valuable addition to any collection. This one ended up selling for $12,436.88 with buyer's fee. 1980 Lincoln Scent. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus Red by PCGS. According to Grading Service, the 1980p Lincoln Scent is very common as the US Mint struck over 7.4 billion examples. Examples up to MS66 condition are easy to locate. In MS67 they are scarce. Anything grading higher than MS67 is considered rare. This plus designated gem ended up selling for $2,300.62 with buyer's fee. We have the 1964 Washington Quarter with a double die obverse. This rare variety resulted from a unique minting process, leaving visible doubling on modern and God we trust. Check your collection for this doubling effect, it could turn your quarter into a true numismatic treasure. This MS65 specimen ended up selling for $450 with buyer's fee. 1948 D. Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Full Bell Lines. This debut year Denver coin is rare in this lofty Full Bell Lines grade, with none so much as star designated finer at NGC. Frosty luster yields light golden color and sharp devices, with pristine fields. Only the faintest grazes on Franklin's portrait prevent virtual perfection. An ideal registry coin. It was sold for $3,120. 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with Repunched Mint Mark D. Over S. Graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. FS standing for full steps. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Writing in the 6th edition, Volume 1 of the Cherry Picker's Guide, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton have this to say about the 1949 D-S nickel. This variety is quite rare in mint state and highly sought after. Were the author speaking only of superb gems such as this, the more appropriate description would be very rare. This 5-cent piece ended up selling for $18,000. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Got any of these coins? Share your stories below. Until next time, happy collecting!